Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created post user page with the form and inputs in our react application. And in today's video, we will call post employee API after submission of the form. So let's get started. So in our VS code, we need to open the employee folder and we will open post user dot JS. And in this file, first of all, we need to use on submit event of our form and we need to call a method. And to do that, we will go to the form tag and here we need to mention on submit. And here we need to give a method name. And for this case, we will give it as handle submit. And now we need to create this method. So we will write here constant. And then we need to mention the name which is handle submit and this should be an asynchronous function and in the params we need to accept the event and we will name this event as e and after this we need to write arrow function and in the body of this arrow function first of all we need to call a method to disable the reloading of the page because it will automatically reload the page and to stop this we can call e dot prevent default method and after this we can call our api but for now let's write one console log statement here and let's log our form data now let's save this file and let's run our application to verify the working of our handle submit method and form data and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and in the browser we will click on this post employee button and now we will right click on this page and we will click on inspect to open the console and from these tabs we need to click on this console now let's enter some data in these inputs and now let's click on this post employee button and we need to write the full email here so we will write at the rate gmail.com now let's click again on this post employee button and you can see we got our form data printed in the console and if you notice we are getting two emails with the spelling mistake so let's go back to our vs code and let's fix this issue and in the form data we need to fix the spellings of email and now we can call our api so after the console log statement we will write try catch block and in the try block we can call the api and to call the api we will use fetch and we will create a constant and we will name this as response and here we need to use await keyword and then we will use fetch and here we need to give the url of our api which is http slash localhost colon 8080 and in our backend application as you can see we need to write slash api slash employ and we need to mention the same URL here, which is API slash employee. And after this, we need to mention other details. So we will use curly braces to do that. And we will remove the bracket from here and we will write it here. And here, first of all, we need to mention the API call method, which is post in our case. And after the method, we need to write the headers. And in the headers, we need to set content type application slash JSON. And at the end, we need to send the form data and we will send this form data in the body. And before sending the form data, we need to stringify it. So we will call JSON dot stringify method. And here we will pass our form data. And with this, the code to call the API is completed. And now we need to write the code to get the response and for that we will create a constant variable and we will name this as data and we will set the value in it by calling the response and to do that we will use await keyword and we will call response dot json and after this let's write console log statement and for the message we will show employee created and then we will pass the data and after this we need to write the code to redirect the user to the dashboard so he can see all the employees there and to do that we will use use navigate from react router dom and we will create one constant here 
and we will name this as navigate and here we need to initialize the use navigate and we need to import it as well so we will write import statement and we need to import use navigate and then we will write from keyword and we need to import it from a react router dom now let's go back to our api call and here we will call our navigate and for the url we will pass it as slash because the url of our dashboard component is slash and after this we need to write the code in the catch block and for now we will use console statement and we will log the message as error creating employee and then we will pass error dot message and with this the code to call the api is completed now let's save this file and you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and here we need to fill the details and for the name i will fill it as test and for the name i will add test at the rate gmail.com and then i will add phone number and department now let's click on this post employee button and as you can see we got one error related to the course and we need to fix this error from our backend application so let's go to the intellij and in the intellij we need to open employee controller and to fix the error related to the core we need to annotate this controller with at the rate cross origin annotation and for the url we will set it as static now let's rerun our application and as you can see our application is up now let's go to the browser and in the browser we will click post employee button again and as you can see we got the message employee created and we got redirected to our dashboard component and in mysql workbench we can verify the new entry with the id2 and we have the same email and name and phone number and that's it for this video in the next video we will create get all employees api in our spring boot application